Hello and welcome back to Pagan Online. I'm Avan and today we're going to select a character. I am going to select the character I tried first yesterday. The uh, Child of the Forest, the Mir, ranged with a pet that was uh, seems very nice for a new player. Endless darkness. I have to see the intro again. There was always light. The eternal balance. Gods are the guardians of this harmony. Without the gods, there would be no balance. Without the balance, there would be no light. Exciting. I'm looking forward to really starting because yesterday it was only tutorial times a couple of times through, five times to be exact, to try the different characters. But now I'm the going to continue. War of the Shroud began without warning and without mercy. Slaughter everyone! This world belongs to the master! Okay. So, bear and I will go on a journey. I think right click is, let's see if we can read these. Apparently not, okay. We, uh, oh, there we go. So the bear has two stances, guard or frenzy. I think we want frenzy stance, that's frenzy. That frenzies me as well and it grants a bonus to all types of damage, but I also believe it lowers armor. Uh, let's try the guard and see. Grants bonus to all forms of damage resistance, okay. But let's, let's be frenzied. And then the shift button lets us teleport to the bear and kind of merge with it. It's a spirit thing, like so. We cannot control it that way, but we uh, regenerate health. Just as in the I think it's just me. It might be the bear as well, because uh, I think I think the bear has HP. I was looking at a talent, and it said something about more HP. So that might be a thing. Then we have the middle mouse. That's basically a boomerang, but it's with ravens instead. And we have a tree that heals allies over time. I think it does some damage when it grows. No, nope, didn't. Okay, so it's just an AOE region for now. I believe we can put talents in it to make it have different effects. That's fun. Then we have the space. That's a uh, command for the bear. So if in guard stance he jumps towards me and taunts, let's try that, guard stance and yeah there he goes, he jumps to me and taunts. And if the bear is in frenzy stance, he will perform a massive AoE stomp. Let's try that one as well to make sure we have seen all abilities. Rar? Yes, rar. Big rar. Nice. Okay, so we're going to choose this. We didn't see the ultimate ability. Uh, that one possesses the bear, a bit like the shift button. I really like this icon, by the way. The bear looks <laughs> scary. Uh, so you possess the bear and you can actually control it. So, choose. Can we, oh, we move on, okay. So we can, it's called Berserk, which is funny. 
almost as funny as the turret skill of the other characters that's called two rats as in turrets two rats yes that's funny as well um so let's see what happens now if we do command uh i'm going to hover somewhere the bear isn't and oh hello okay first time i think Uh oh, sued. Oh, cutting. Oh no. Game by Mad Head Games. So I guess this is where we start. Exciting. I'm looking forward to this ride. The uh, game itself feels very responsive, the combat, so it's fun to play. And that's what I believe this game is. It's just simply fun. Welcome to it's the apparently also very MMO-y. Many other people here. Powerful enough to bring you back from death. Oh, a chatty yes, raven. You did die on that battlefield. The Pantheon is a place where the soul shards of heroes converge into one being. Neither living nor dead. An eternal hero coming down from the heavens by divine mandate. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have many questions and all will be answered in time. But first, I need to show you something. Follow me. Oh, the bear is impatient. Follow me, hero. This place was created by the gods so they could protect us from the horrors emanating from the Shroud. For centuries, Dabog, Perun, and Veris, our gods and protectors, stood their vigil from here. They gave mankind the might to drive the demons back, watching over the world from their eternal throne. Uh, so these are the thrones we saw in the cutscene before, maybe? In our most desperate hour, the eternal thrones are vacant. Oh, no. The gods kept the balance from shifting back to the demons of the Shroud, protecting all the realms of Rod from each major demonic incursion. And so it was for centuries. So we this... Not know what happened to them. But whatever force removed the gods from our realm, it was a power Terrible magnitude. The animations on these cutscenes are very nice. Velis, god of nature, trickster and traveler, no longer does he protect the forests. Velis. Velis, god of thunder and might, his protection and strength are no more. Double, God I skipped one. Light and life. The shining beacon of his presence has turned to darkness. This throne belonged to Morana, goddess of death and wisdom. But she perished long ago. And we have a danger far more urgent to deal with. This is the reality we face now. He did skip the God leader, I bet. We must solve the mystery their disappearance. Our fate depends on it. An ancient item of great power, a weapon left to us by the gods, is somewhere in ancient Mount Igman. You must return from the Pantheon to the land of the living and find it. Your quest begins through the battle gate. It will take you back to the realm of the living. Remember, you cannot stay there forever. Your soul must come back to the Pantheon and rejuvenate. So, battle gaze button, access to campaign missions, and assassination battles. Click to open the world map. I like that the bear is eager walking over and looking at the map. So, let's click this. I don't think I'm allowed to do anything else. The power of Dravnakutia. 
Let's see. Battle gate. On the battle gate screen, you'll find a battle map and a comprehensive list of available missions, uh, campaigns, missions, and assassination battles. To start a battle, simply click on a map node and choose the battle button. Alternatively, choose a battle from the battle list on the left of the screen. Before starting a battle, you can also choose which difficulty to play at. Three difficulty levels that unlock as you progress through the game. Okay, so this is mission-based, instant, instance-based. Let's see, protect the Igman Fortress from the oncoming demonic invasion. I guess that's what we're doing. Oh, there's leaderboards, friends and personal, personal? Sure, it's coming soon. Let's try to go back from this. I like the previous menu better. Oh, that's, it appears when I click in. Okay, good. I see that one of the heroes have the spot up top, but it might, might not matter. Enemies, a weak melee minion commonly found in Igman, Spellcaster, an ice crawler, fast melee stabber with low help. Okay, so let's see if we can try this battle. And this is the difficulty. We cannot unlock anything but the normal one. So let's go. Ah, oh, this is this is nice looking. The um. Slavic Pantheon, I don't know anything about it, but it looks beautiful, especially the representation in this game. Oh, it's a bar. Rar. The greatest of mountains, a living barrier against the demons of the Shroud. The crucial Igman stronghold is being overrun by demons as we speak. If it falls, we all fall with it. Somewhere within its walls lies an artifact of great power. My hope is that it is a weapon left by the gods before they disappear. It is up to you to find out. Perfect Our ancestors, tonight. guided by the gods themselves, built the Igman stronghold to serve as a bastion against the evils from the Shroud. Its mighty wall, the Bedum, withstood three great wars and hundreds of demonic incursions. So is this something we can loot? Does the bear have collision? Step by bear. Yeah, the bear actually has collision. I wonder if we can get stuck in him. But I guess we can possess and leave bear at the right place. Let's see. Uh, Become a material and face your soul into the beast, healing him in the progress. Recast ability to quickly re-emerge. So I guess we don't heal us, we just heal bear. Changing the stance will make the bear do the following action. Uh, he roars and all allies receive permanent physical damage reduction, attack damage boost decreased. Okay, so... They, um, for some reason, the right click ability is explained on the shift button. That was strange, unless something happens if I change stance while inside the bear. Nope, I can't do that. Okay, so let's just keep this stance for now. Stuff to fight. I guess this is a combo counter, so as long as we keep up the killing, we get... We get what? Some sort of bonus? Don't know. Let's now see if we heal. Uh, we don't. Okay, so it's just the bear. And uh, we can see the bear HP now. So, gold is probably something... Potion can only bring nine. Okay, and gold had to click that. Uh, let's heal the bear 
while doing this. Oh, this, this is more scary than I thought. So we have, there was something in here, let's see. Yes, enable auto pick. So I think we're going to auto pick up materials. And if something else drops, we're going to look at it then. And then we can um, also enable a loot filter. But for now, we're going to show everything. That's a bit like uh, Path of Exile. When you get further in the game, it's nice to not show the most basic items. And press R to interact. Oh, a jagged pelt. That was a crafting item, I think, because... Uh, yeah, materials. Jagged pelt. A rare crafting material. Okay. I guess the rare one is the base rarity, which is a bit funny because that means rare means it's quite common. This is our weapon. Amulet slots to tome slot, sword, and charm. Okay. I'm going to see if I can open this by using the R button as well. Uh, I cannot. So that was probably just a lore thing. So let's move on. So, the bear is actually tanking things. Legacy rank, we did a level up as well there. Now this, this guy uh, doesn't really have any abilities now. We have thing and we have potion, picking that one up. Going to heal the bear while looking at the inventory. Because we got a magic amulet, common quality, astral shield, armor rating, and cold resistance. A required legacy rank. Okay, so legacy rank might be account level. Uh, but we also have glory, so it's hard to say. But let's equip this and see what happens. Might is probably item level, I guess. I might be way off. Astral shield is a shield, okay. So that might regenerate, let's see. Thanks for joining the fight, stranger. Usually, it is up to the Vetch Nagarga, the Ikmen guards, to protect the strong one. But at this desperate hour, even us blacksmiths must fight. Yeah, I guess that's understandable. Into the fray! Into the fray. Oh, but we have lore. The Vetch Nagarga have been the stalwart defenders of Igman since the keep was built. They fought off numerous attacks by the demons and were led by King Vukashin himself against the great dragon of the Shroud. So it looks like Bear got uh, the shield as well, at least some of it. I think that's part of the passive of uh, this character. Oh, and we see it regenerates as well. Uh, base is 100%, 7% gain, uh, gain from Damir's stats. And the bear's name is Vaban. We even have uh, waves in normal maps as well. And loot, and heal the bear. Guess we need to pick up all the loot. That was probably a new crafting material. Something lightning, yes, captured lightning. Then we have a Dark Tomb, Shards, Unlock is stuck the Protector's customization items. Okay, so it's not the person himself. Would be cool though. 
I don't know how we unlock different people, but it might be from shards. Something tells me this is the beginning of the fourth war of the Shroud. Grim times. Ah. Grim Either times way. indeed. Thank you for your help, friend. You're welcome. Behold, a portal stone, part of the heavens made manifest. It will take you back to the Pantheon, where your body and soul can rejuvenate. I shall wait for you there. So that was the full mission, I guess. Can we interact with anything here? Battle complete. I guess we interacted with the, the fountain there. So let's see. Legacy rank. Gain legacy score by leveling heroes. And this is probably hero level. And this is might. I think. Good. Continue. We also got new loot. There were some items, at least a book, I think, we might be able to equip. So I'm going to check that out. It's always nice to find loot in action RPGs. The Pantheon Healing Potions Quick Bar icon always shows available potions in your hero's inventory. Clicking this icon refills your potions for the price of a few gold coins. Hero, uh, Pantheon Hero Shards quick bar icon shows the portrait of a hero you have gathered most hero shards for. Hovering will show the list of top three heroes with most shards. Click the icon to open Hero Forge. You can spend only oh, so much time in the mortal realm before you have to return to the Pantheon and replenish your power. The Hero Forge is a place where all the soul shards converge. It's the place a hero of your stature can prepare for battle. Use the Hero Forge button to view all available heroes and pets. Unlock and add them to your legacy. Here you can also view, unlock and equip hero skins and other cosmetics. So I guess legacy is your account. I bet it is. Ooh. One of the greatest of all the wonders the gods have created, the Hero Forge, is a divine mechanism that ensnares the soul shards of fallen heroes before they pass into the land of the dead. That's why we collect the shards, to kind of resurrect them. The Hero Forge displays the complete roster of available heroes, their progress and customization options, gear and additional information, as well as all available pets. I wonder if it's mini pets or if it's bare customization. The main screen of the Hero Forge, the Hero Info section, shows the chosen hero's lore, starting attributes and more details on each hero's skills. You can also find information about each hero's playstyle. The hero info page also allows you to summon a new hero. This progress consumes hero souls, a unique type of resource. Oh, this is a huge tutorial. I'm not going to read all of this. I'm just going to skim it. Hero souls are universal uh, hero shards. Ah, uh, it's a difference between souls and shards. Uh, souls can only be obtained from assassination missions. Shards can be acquired a number of ways. Good. Each unlock hero possesses a number of unlockable customization items. I wonder if this game was meant to have microtransactions, but it, it doesn't now, as far as I know. It's a buy to play game, and I think everything in the game is free but you need to unlock stuff i like that part i like unlocking stuff so that's i'm very happy with that uh, most cosmetic items are unlocked with hero shards some of them can be purchased with gold so i guess a free to play thing was maybe in the works for this game pets cosmetic features aha <laughs> it's funny it's a hat bird so that's, uh, that's Vanity Pets and Legacy Rank, all heroes. So that's uh, account level, basically, I believe. 
is a bit like the mastery level of Warframe, I think. So there we go. This person is ready. Let's see what happens if we click. Well, oh, we can try heroes from here. That's very nice. We have... Uh, the heroes are in a different order than the other screen. This screen is actually better to read it all. I wonder why. Oh, well. And here we have hero selection. We don't have any shards for this person. Damir. So let's look at the ability tree. Spell tree. Click on an ability to assign points and unlock it. Okay, and it looks like we didn't keep all of the skills, so we have to unlock them. Click the right mouse button to undo individual points or the reset button to thing. Okay, uh, you will also be only be able to reassign after confirming. Oh, and it doesn't let us see the full tree. Okay, that that's very strange. Let's see what happens if we click. Oh, this might actually go back. This looks very strange. Or it might be because we don't have any. Let's let's look at the tree of someone else. No, it looks the same. But it did show us the full tree before. So let's see if we can do it in game. The battle quick part instantly takes you to battle. Should you want to choose the type of battle you will be taken to, you can do so by using the drop down menu above the button. Uh, use the ability tab to change loadout. Click to open the spell tree screen. Okay, so here we are. Spell tree, this is the same help box. But now we can place. And how many points do we have? We have one. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, this is a good picture of a bear. Vavan. Vavan the bear is going to take good care of us. So why is this locked? Unlock hero level 6, 9, 11, 19, and 16. So can we... This node is not modifiable. Not, not modifiable, but we can unlock this. Call of the Ravens. Physical damage, 250%, and boomerang throw deals damage. It doesn't tell us how much, but one point into this one is probably worth it. We don't have any other way to spend resource. We can also move it around. That's nice. And let's either confirm that or get more stats but it, uh, on the bear but I think we're going to have the active skill that's more fun build locked in 200 gold to respec we have 208 Something so that's fine is hidden in we can respect some of the soldiers stationed there no more of its location the defenders of Igman still need your help hero you should go to their aid Sure, let's continue the campaign. It looks like there were vendors down here as well. Uh, but they needed to be unlocked. It looked locked at least. Ognia's bravery. Ognia is the blacksmith we met before. Let's start this. Oh, rawr. I like, really like the way the bear goes into battle. So let's frenzy up and talk to Blacksmith. Where do you go? <laughs> no matter. It's good to have you here. I have a feeling these attacks are not random. In fact, I think I know why the demons are here. At the heart of Igmin's stronghold lies a seemingly bottomless pit. It's been here since the keep was built. Most people just accept it as one of the many oddities of the place. But I know better. We blacksmiths have always known it to be the location of a mythic artifact. 
That's the thing we're looking for. You there. Captain Mita Snegerod wants to talk to you. So let's go talk to the captain. Well met, friend. Since you decided to join us, we should discuss our defenses. I'm afraid these attacks are just the beginning of a full scale invasion. Assault so soon! My men and I will hold the eastern wall. You and Ognia head to the upper floor and stop them from striking from the rear. Attack! Oh, they got stuck in the bear. <laughs> bear too fat. Oh no. I think I know what these beasts are after. Quickly, follow me. Let's do the bridge. That's I think that was a lot of damage. Let's read the boomerang. It doesn't say how much damage the boomerang is, so let's watch it. Uh, six and seven on the return. Eight, six, and then try this. Fifth. Oh, okay. So it's many times more. That was a huge difference. Let's chug and pick up. And pick up. So this is a ward. And this is a something else. Armor rating. Of course, because if they hit the book, they don't hit our uh, what our, our what's behind the book. Okay, and steel steel word. I'm writing from that one as well. Do we think the bear gets armor writing? I wish we could see the stats on the bear. We might be able to close some entry, open stat details. Nope, but we can expect bear to get. I think it was seven percent. Or it might be 107%. Base is 100%. So. I don't know. A bit confusing. So let's save this location from more enemies. Oh. Hitting for three and three. And bird hits for... Oh my... Like nine times as much. That's uh, a lot. Nine times as much ish. And if this one is 250%, uh, 250%, then uh, uh, this one is maybe 30, 35, 40. Chug. And let's heal the bear. We can't see the bear hit points oh so we got a dark tome uh, maybe we just keep it and try to sell it chest our bones that's crafting items or material components Drum. No. Oh no. Oh no. Black split lady. Don't. Need to use this to. Oh, it's actually dying faster than. Uh, uh, I can heal it. Actually, they can deal with the blind kid. And they can deal with the bear. I wonder if... Oh, oh. Can I heal the bear? It's probably a bit risky, but let's try. No! Bye-bye! I wonder how we're supposed to deal with that. Deal with the bear uh, struggling. At least uh, I, I can hide here and do a teleport down. Oh, okay, so maybe it was timed. Maybe it was that I used the skill to heal it to full. 
Bone of the Rang. That's the one we have. That was an item we don't have, I think. Let's keep Bear healed up. And let's check. I like the comparison view. The comparison view is good. Flawless quality, astral shield, critical damage, reduction, armor rating, and cold resistance. Good. Uh, this one doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter because it's the same. I wonder what the star is. Doesn't matter. It looked the same. So then, let's move on the story. I'm fine. Glad you got that stink for me. I think I know what they're after. Don't let them take it. We won't. No, don't die. Ah. Hopefully, she stayed alive. She's going to stay down here and chill some while we go back to. I was about to say space, but to the Pantheon. Battle complete. And we're closing in on level three. I think I like the way uh, the missions are made. Small missions uh, can uh, can do, uh, you know, log on, do a mission or two, and log back out. Is a mystical one, and as its champion, you serve as a beacon to the worthy souls of those who die near you. Ogia was brought back to serve just like you. So she did actually die. She's already here. In fact, she wants to talk to you urgently. So we now have unlocked a blacksmith up here. Ah, uh, is this a raccoon? This is probably one of those pets. That's nice. So, arcane craft box. Dying was a strange experience, but waking up here is something else entirely. I still sorry I wasn't still can't more believe down it. there. But perhaps I can aid you in a different way. I don't think those demons attacked the stronghold by accident, nor do I think that old man sent you there without good reason. As I said, there is a bottomless pit in the stronghold. The secret of the pit was a tale told amongst blacksmiths for generations. The pit holds the most powerful tool to prepare us for the upcoming war. The Drevna Kutia. The Drevna Kutia. That might be a weapon. I felt the Kutia was near, but I dared not hope. Hero, this could be the one thing that can turn the tide. It could also be our downfall if we don't get to it before the demons. Quickly now, I shall accompany you to the pit. We must retrieve the Drevna Kutia. So let's do that. So this is probably going to be the third mission in the same location. I think maybe we can almost teleport up, yes. Okay, so that's one chapter, kind of, but I see that we are out of time, so I'm going to finish this chapter tomorrow, or the day after, depending on when I get the time to play, but I'm going to prioritize that because this is my kind of game, so far at least. I like that it had a tiny bit of difficulty with the bear not being invincible, but being able to heal it up uh that's fun and if let's see let's look at the abilities and see if we can do something with that skill it's not modifiable okay no that's the wrong skill this one still not modifiable but it heals 60 percent 20 percent each second for for three seconds so we should be able to use it twice to get the bear back up so that's fun so then, um, what's left for me to do is say thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Let's see if we can turn the tides of war. Bye bye.